Hello world, Christian Truther here, and this is my new video series for you that I'm calling Tidbits, where I try to cover a flat earth argument in about two minutes. For now, we are focusing on a slightly famous video that gives 200 proofs that the world is not a spinning ball. Due to time constraints, I will always be putting links to my evidence and mathematical equations in the descriptions below. Here are my rules, let's quit wasting time and dive in. The second flat earth argument in this video is that the horizon always rises to meet the eye. We're told that you never have to look down to see the horizon. Sadly, this argument fails on a number of levels. Now first, there is no discussion about why the horizon wouldn't fall away as altitude is gained on a flat plane. And that requires an explanation. Except, I can't give you one. It doesn't make sense. If everything is flat over great distances, you would have to look down to see the horizon. Second, a flat plane is going to behave in a virtually identical manner to a globe due to the vast scale of the world. Now, if you didn't catch yesterday's video, we discussed how ridiculously little altitude can be gained in relation to the size of the Earth. 120,000 feet, for instance, is more than four times the height of Mount Everest. And yet, it's less than two-thirds the width of the thinnest part of Rhode Island. And yet, it's also the ceiling for standard weather balloons. The Earth is just that big, and you just can't see very far at all in comparison. Ultimately, the horizon will be expected to behave in an almost identical manner in either scenario, whether globular or flat. Third, perspective is never mentioned, and this is critical. Parallel lines, such as railroad tracks, appear to move closer as they move farther away. This is true from any direction and contributes to a seemingly uniform and level horizon. Finally, and this is the one that really gets me, the video shows multiple images from the viewer where the viewer does have to look down to see the horizon. Just look for yourself. Now, here we have a floating platform, so it should be level. And it's fairly high up. These, these ships are pretty tall, but you have to look down. And you definitely have to look down from those altitudes. In summary, the horizon does indeed drop as altitude is gained, but as I pointed out before, the effect is minimized by perspective and it would behave in a similar fashion regardless of whether the world was round or flat. The point here isn't so much busted as it's proved to be meaningless regarding the shape of the world. Christian Truther, signing out.